Hey everyone, what's going on? Um, after the responses that I had gotten to my evolutionary psychology um, talk or whatever you want to call it, I think it was like a three-part thing, and I talked a lot about um, different aspects of evolutionary psychology and things like that. And there were a lot of comments on it. it seemed to start a lot of sh shit, so I figure why not do it again. This time I'm going to provide references and things like that. Um, but I really thought it was good. Some a lot of good comments. So uh, today I wanted to talk about the correspondence bias, or otherwise known as the fundal, fundamental attribution error. And this is basically the error we make in judgments towards other people. Rather than attributing their behavior to the situation we imme immediately almost instinctively attribute to their disposition so your drive a good example of this is right after we learned about this I'm driving on Hempstead Turnpike and there's a guy going slow as mud and doesn't have his blinker on of course he's gonna make a turn he's going and I'm like what a an idiot man what a and like Really, he was just making a turn, but he should have signaled, pissed me off. But I'm thinking, here he is, he's an idiot, he's stupid, blah, blah, blah. But, like, what if his axle was broken? What if, like, he was an old guy and couldn't see? What if his windshield wipers were fogged and he was going slow because he couldn't see? There are a million other situational variables that I just did not consider. And I considered them afterwards because I'm like, wait, I just committed this correspondence bias. How awful. But, uh, so that's, that's a pretty good example, you know, of attributing uh, his behavior to his disposition rather than the situation. Um, so there are a couple of examples of this in the literature. And one of them is by, and I actually have the references this time because people kept complaining about that. And they're like, well, what about this? You didn't do your, your research or whatever. So this one was by Jones and Harris in 1967. It's a little old but it's still good. Um, they assigned essay paradigm and basically they had participants come in and talk about or basically write about uh, either a pro Castro or uh, I think it was a, a neutral or anti Castro essay and then other people were brought in to rate these people and say how do they feel towards Castro and basically um, when assigned to write a pro-Castro essay, the reader believed that the writer was actually pro-Castro, even though the 